Hi. Someone noticed that you were going through Andy Hemmingson's mailbox today. I didn't snoop through his box. Okay, so, so some how mail, is it? It was a mail addressed to him, mm -hmm. and I figured it didn't seem private, I, and it was something I was curious about. It didn't seem like a private letter to him. Okay. I thought it would be okay to just Anything look at it. Anything in anybody's box directed towards anybody is private. And I can tell you that if people feel that you are infringing upon the office's privacy by looking in mailboxes, that's, gonna, that's, a, that's a serious issue. It's actually more serious than eating or a lot of the other right. things, reading your magazine right. at, the, at the table, which right. other people have told me about. Right. If you are looking in someone's mailbox, that's a really serious issue. Appropriate I behavior is noticed. I a copy and, of that document. Right, and that's something else we need to talk about. Because why do you think, first of all, you shouldn't have known that Andy had it in the first place because you shouldn't have been looking in his box. Right. But the fact that Andy did have it, what is... What's Andy's responsibility here? He's the director of development. So he's a department head. So is it possible that he has something that none of the rest of us have? No, but I was asking if I could maybe make a copy or something. But he has access to it, and none of the rest of us do. And that's because he's the department director. What I wanted to do was ask you to ask him for a copy. Okay, but it... Which I know... Let me try this a different way. As an assistant director of a department, I don't have that document. So do you think it's appropriate for the afternoon staff assistant to have that document? No, maybe not. Maybe not. That's really what I'm I, trying I to didn't, get at. I didn't realize that. Right. I thought that... At the time And I wanted to ask that, you, because I know that was the rule. Right. Ask you it was before right to, ask right. Andy. It was right to ask me, and I appreciate that. The but at the time at which that is made public to the staff, you will certainly get a copy as well. But it's not public to the staff yet. It's not finished. But I liked the unfinished version. I liked the version that it was. Why? Well, it was, I liked the idea of knowing in advance what the dates were going to be for the next season. Okay, so that's that issue. Now, back to, I, I would like to work at finding ways to do non-MTC things mm -hmm. at the desk and also the eating. I'm still not comfortable with non-MTC things at the desk, specifically because... If I walked into a recep into an office and a receptionist were reading Seventeen magazine, I would think, man, they don't take their job very seriously. But what if I did it in a way that... What happens when you try to hide things? As long as, as I see it... Just, can you just answer that question? Do you think it could be perceived as goofing off? Not by somebody who knows me. I find that very hard to believe. I've given this a lot of thought. Oh, I'm sure you have. I think I can train myself. To Is this a matter for discussion at this point? I'm just telling you that... Okay, but no, did I just give you my answer as your supervisor? But I wanted to just talk about what you we said We don't about. read magazines at our desk. That's just not how MTC employees act. Now... The what time is, Nikki, what time is it? It's 4.04. Okay. Do you How, think we can try to wrap up? No, no. I wanted to, I wanted to also discuss, what about, what about the eating? It's something that you're really fixated on. It's something maybe... No, no, no. It's, uh, it's something that keeps coming up a lot. I feel you've spent too much time and energy on this issue. I am really sick of talking about it. You know how I feel about it. I realize that every circumstance is different. My answer is always going to be the same. Okay. You're an adult in that case. All right. That's all I needed to know. Okay. Discussion over. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, great. I didn't get my jacket. So I have to get... MTC produced a show which everyone hated. And when subscribers called to cancel their tickets and they said they heard the show was bad, I told them I agreed with them. The show was awful. And that's what led to my getting fired as a receptionist.